Hey y'all, I just decided to do this video on how long it takes to make a Grand Show Champion. And I just really wanted to go through some things with you and um, tell you a little bit about my journey with Bonnie and um, how long it took me to make her a Grand Show Champion. And then um, we'll go and we'll do the videos with Clyde and we will do um, a video on how long it took him to make a Grand Show Champion when you're actually like really hauling dogs to events versus not getting to go as much. Alright, let's get started. Hey y'all, so I took Bonnie to her first show um, when she was six and a half months old. We did lose and that being said, Bonnie and I came home and we worked our butts off. We did not make show champion until January, um, the end of January in 20, um, 15, yeah, 2015 is when we did that, and we did that in Clinton, North Carolina. There was a lot of times I was hauling the dog, and we just couldn't get that win, and if you haul dogs, and you know, um, like, some people are prejudiced against certain different breeds, and if you don't show really the common breed, then you can be held um, prejudiced at some local backyard clubs. Luckily, now living in western North Carolina, that is not the case as much, and I found a lot nicer people, especially if you're handling dogs that are not predominantly the one that's handled. So, thank you to the people in western North Carolina for being nice about that. Um, I think it also has something to do with her being a Grand Show Champion now. But it took us a good while from when we started. And I showed a good bit that summer. And then I took off kind of in the winter um, and hunted her some. And we did not competition hunt. And then um, we really started back showing for a good bit in 2015 I really hauled that dog to shows with my dad and we really pushed her um and we did good in 2016 she did not go to many shows um she had my little Annabelle and um boss and all the other puppies that year and um she just didn't really go to shows that much in 2017 I did not take Bonnie to like any shows and that is like um my fault because I was working like two or three jobs well two jobs and um mowing grass and I was super busy and I had Dustin and it was like um we're not going to dog shows because I was having to travel so much um but I mean if you really hold the dog you can make them in a good amount of time a uh, grand show champion um, if you know what you're doing. And then, um, in 2018, in April, I took Monty to her last show that she went to for a long time. Let's go ahead and put that out there. 2019, I did not haul this dog to shows. Monty did not go to shows. But in April of 2018, she got the title of Grand Show Champion. And then we had puppies after that, and it was just the best, and I could tell everyone I finally had a Grand Show Champion, and it was just great. Um, it wouldn't have took me that long, let's say, if I had been showing a blue tick or something with nicer feet. Bonnie has very bad feet, and I'll go ahead and tell you that. It took me a good bit to try and get her to actually roll her feet, um... But, yeah, so, the difference is, like, the different breeds, the different level of handlers, and that's how long it could take. Let me just give an example. So, like, with Banger, my blue tick that I showed for a good bit, um, it only took me, like, three shows to get him, um, in the champion class. He didn't know, he never made Grand Show Champion because... I didn't haul him enough to go to dog shows, and also I was working along the same times as well. So, um, working on the weekends definitely 
is a drawback from going to shows and I wish I hadn't have done that but you've got to do what you've got to do to pay bills and pay for dog addictions um so you can hunt and I and that's that but um with Clyde my goals are going to be have him a show champion by by nine to ten months old have him a grand show champion by a year and a half that is my goal for him. And I'm going to write that down because I like writing down goals um, for the dogs. So when he is six months old, I'm going to start hauling him to shows. When I first get him, he is going to be on the bench every single day. Bonnie does not have to be on the bench every single day. She does not even have to be showed before larger shows. She does have a little attitude issues in the practice ring. And that is why I do not practice with her as much i would practice with manger but some of the best shows i've been to i have not practiced with bonnie or banger and i've done very good at um unfortunately like i had mentioned before banger is no longer with us uh, in this life but he was a really awesome blue tick and i love showing him um bonnie is still my favorite. I love showing Manger, but he had attitude issues in the ring, and um, that was just not good. So, I would encourage everyone who really wants to make their dog a grand show champion, and now they have things like um, Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire thingy, um, grand show champions in like different levels and different titles. You can get higher up. Um, so, don't stop at grand show champion. And write down your goals and really set goals that are achievable and then set goals that are like up here that you don't think you're going to achieve. Because if you just set goals you think you're going to achieve, you're never going to get anywhere in life. And um, just set realistic goals. Personally, when I first started to Bonnie, I didn't even think we were going to make show champion. I was so discouraged aggravated, ready to get rid of the dog. It, I mean, I loved Bonnie, but I could not take it. I didn't like going to shows and losing every single show. I asked my dad, I'm like, is something wrong with the dog? Is something wrong with me as a handler? But um, the whole issue was where we were going to at clubs and my inexperience and Bonnie's inexperience. And things of that nature. So that was that. Um, I don't consider myself a professional handler by any means. I would like to be. Um, I know what I'm kind of doing. And, um, I mean, Bonnie really um, does a lot for me. The best thing is to get a good, pretty dog. And they do a lot for you. Get something with nice feet. And he has even worse feet than Bonnie. Um, so, it's really hard to show a dog with bad feet. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. Bonnie is good on rolling her feet now definitely not the best but we have um worked through our issues another thing i would suggest is getting tips from people that already know what they're doing if anyone ever needs help from me i don't know exactly what i'm doing like to the t but i can give you enough lines to get you winning dog shows um my dad had a good friend that showed a lot and he um actually my dad showed at like um, one before I started handling and he actually had been to a lot of coonhound events and stuff and we learned from trial and error and we learned from watching videos I remember getting on YouTube and I would sit there and watch all the UKC events at the major events smaller events any dog bench shows I could get with UKC that had coonhounds in them so I could watch them and then I started expanding to watching more of them. But um, that's how you learn. I would sit there with my dad when my mom would go out and um, run her errands at night and stuff that she would have to do and her social things. And we would sit there for hours and watch this mess. And it was really informative. So I encourage you to get on YouTube, watch someone handle at a dog show. Um, learn the differences there is one ukc um not really ukc it is a 
dog show thing on there and it gives you some of the basics um I'm going to give you some of the basics when I get the puppy and do a video on that um because it's really hard for me to just dumb it down not really I'm not meaning that in an ugly way but Bonnie is just like has her routine and it's really hard for me just to show you what I did to train her I did do a video on that with Annie so if you want to do that go check that out and it's Annie's uh bench show training video um, I'm not showing at Walker Days. I know people have asked me, are you showing at Walker Days? No, I'm still editing our um, schedule and we will be hauling a good bit to dog shows even if Bonnie and I do have to go in the Mustang. I hope this video was helpful to you in starting your journey on getting a Grand Show Champion. And if I could help you in any way, please get my phone number and call me or email me or come to my booth that shows if you just need anything also we have these really cool show leads in orange and black now orange and black is one of my favorite color schemes um that being said my car is orange with black interior and um i didn't like it to begin with but now it's one of my favorite color schemes so that's why i try to stay along with the lines of color schemes that i like and color schemes i know other people would like those are um eight dollars each or two for fifteen all right guys i um enjoy talking to you on this topic and i hope this really helps like i said and um please come up to me at shows and talk to me and um I hope we can be friends. Alright, as we always say, keep them in the woods.